Hey guys, it's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. So today you're not gonna see my face because we don't need it. So I think it's better for you actually, <laughs> because we are gonna see some very, very useful keyboard shortcuts that you have to use on Windows. And most of these shortcuts are just working fine with also Mac OS because I'm using both of the systems. Uh, just you have to replace the control and alt with the command and option, of course. But without further ado, let's go to the video and stick till the end because there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you should know, really. But before that, let's roll the intro. So we can start with the basics, the copy and paste. So you just can do like this, you can select a word, you just go for uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste without doing every time like selecting the text and just doing copy and paste. It's just too long, just use shortcuts. But probably this one, it is known by pretty much anybody now. I, I mean, I hope that. <laughs> but one thing that you probably don't know that on Windows you can actually use a clipboard and what it actually does it is simply storing like a lot of words that you that you copied and you have it always on your clipboard so i just copied this word right here but before that i just copied also other words and by pressing just the windows button on your keyboard plus the v you don't do like ctrl v you just do windows plus v and so this is the clipboard as you can see I just copied also other word and if I have to paste like one of the past word that I copied just I just click on one of those right here and so you have it right here boom so very very easy and very useful if you have to copy like a lot of different words or maybe phrases from uh, a text to another or stuff like that very very useful you have to enable this so you just enable this toggle right here and you have it then if you have like uh, a different text and you want to copy it in your document or maybe your mail you just don't want to copy also the the font and the style of the, of the other text or maybe like in this case the color when you go and copy it with ctrl c you can copy it without any weird format by just pressing ctrl shift and v and so you can copy the text without without any strange stuff and any uh, different color then once you finished all your text for example i am in a notepad right here and i want to save this document this is a pretty much universal feature i use this like uh, a lot when i'm editing videos in premiere pro so when you have to save your documents your file anything you just press ctrl and s and windows is gonna save your document like instantly you're not gonna see it right here because i mean it's a text document so you're not gonna see the loading bar of the saving progression but trust me it is saving the document so ctrl s remember that especially if you are editing videos then another very very useful shortcut if you are working with a lot of documents i use this also a lot it is to press like ctrl f and so this is used to find um, any word that you want and so if i if i search for example copy so you can see that it is finding like the copy uh, word right here as i said before i use it pretty much every time then another basic common it is to uh, press ctrl z to undo something so right here i can press like ctrl z you can see <clears throat> i can just undo my text but if i want to redo the command i i will just press ctrl and y so it will redo something i don't know if this is working in every software but it is working in most of it then another basic command and this is like a uh, troll one for those who who are into gaming maybe just knows that uh, it is just to press alt and f4 to close the software that you are using currently and this is used in video games like to troll people i don't know if you are familiar with that but it is very funny because people just write this in the chat and they just left the game without knowing this uh, this keyboard shortcut so remember that and don't get trolled 
then enough with this document let's go like into the windows explorer for example and here we have a lot of features that are very useful when you are managing with files and one of the features that i use very much every time that i'm managing files and it is to select multiple files for example if i select the first file right here and i want to select all of these images till right here so what i can just do is just to press the, the first file right here and then hold shift the shift keys on your keyboard and then you click on the last file that you want and windows is gonna select all the file in between those files then if you want to select like singular files and maybe you don't want these files in between and you you have to select just the first one and the last one you just click on the first one for example and then you hold the control key and then you can select as many files as you want so i can click and select all of that without problem and also you can combine these two feature so you can just select with shift all those files right here for example and then you let go the shift button on your keyboard and then you just hold control and then you select how many files you want to select without any problem so you can just combine these two very very important feature then another command that you probably already know it is to press uh, f5 on your keyboard to refresh a page you can do it like in a web page like this you can do it also into the windows explorer of course and it's gonna refresh the folder in this uh, specific example but what you probably don't know it is the uh, super refresh and it is very useful in a web page if you want to reload like completely your web page and also the web browser it is gonna re-download also the caches so it is very very useful in some cases so you just hold ctrl and then you press f5 and it's gonna load the page from the beginning as you could see then another feature that you can use on the windows explorer it is uh, to press the f2 button to rename files like this so you just click the file and then you just press f2 so you can just uh, rename the files very quickly then there is a very fast way to open task manager if you don't want to click there and click uh, task manager or maybe you just don't want to press ctrl alt and delete so you just press uh, ctrl shift and the ask button it is like a little bit uh, uncomfortable to press those buttons because they are all in the vertical line but but by pressing that you're gonna just pop up the task manager very very quickly also another feature that you probably already know it is to press alt and tab to switch like in between these uh, windows for example so as you can see all my windows open but there is another way to do this and it is more complete it does give you uh, more information and you have just to press the windows button and tab button so you can see it is a little bit more useful because you can choose between the windows that you are working on the monitor because i am now working on two monitors and i see here only the windows that i have on this monitor but you cannot see the other windows on another monitor and on this screen you can also create new desktops for example you can create how many as you want by just clicking new desktop and also you can close it by that so very very easy and also you can enable on this space right here on this blank space you can enable just the uh, last hour news and some uh, recent activities but i just disabled that because i don't like it too much then going back to the text we can say when you have to select all of the items in your documents or maybe a lot of files or maybe a full page like this you just press ctrl and a and it's gonna select like everything in that page for example if i'm going here on this youtube page and i press ctrl a you can see that it is selecting everything that it can select like images text and all of that also if you are like into windows explorer you just press ctrl a and it is gonna select like everything as you can see then another very very cool feature that you have this one on windows is to arrange your windows as you like the most and so you can do 
you can do it by just dragging and just doing this for example as you may probably already know but there is another way to do that and it is by holding the uh, windows button as always and then press the arrow keys on your keyboard so if i press for example the right arrow key it's gonna do that if i press the left it's gonna do that and if i press the up arrow key is gonna do that for example so you can just rearrange your windows in a very very fast way and also you can just maximize your windows or maybe you can just minimize it like this very very fast to use then if you have like a lot of windows in your site and you want to just see your desktop very very quickly you just press the windows button and d and so it's gonna show you the desktop like instantly this is a very cool uh, shortcut that you can do if you have to just uh, grab some files maybe from your desktop or you have to just do something on your desktop also there is some other ways to do that like pressing this little bar right here on the total right side of your screen or maybe if you just need uh, a window to stay up and then the other one to just uh, minimize you just do like this and all the windows on the desktop are gonna minimize like instantly and you can just see the window that you are holding with your mouse for example then if you have like me like uh, fast softwares to open in the taskbar right here you just hold the windows button and then you can press the numbers to open very quickly this application for example if i have to open chrome that it is the number one software right here i just hold windows button on your keyboard and then i can just press one and it's gonna open the software very very quickly for example so i don't use this uh, shortcut very very often but it is always good to know it then on the web if you have to switch between tabs for example i'm opening like different youtube tabs for example you just hold the control key and then you just press the numbers so if i have to open like the second tab right here so control 2 control 3 4 5 you can see that i am switching between tabs very very fastly and this could be used maybe if you don't want to use your mouse for some reason so you just press ctrl and then the number row keys so for example if i close this uh, tab right here and i want to reopen it you just have to press ctrl shift and t and so it is gonna reopen the tab close it by accident for example then if you want to use uh, your browser in full screen mode i don't know if there is anybody using that mode but you have to just press f11 and then this is the uh, full screen mode for the browser it is working pretty much with every browser but i am telling you that because uh, most of the times we click f11 button by accident and so I'm, I'm just telling you that because you know how to disable it so if you are stuck in this mode right here just press just press f11 and then you will be back in the normal mode we can say then if you want to take like screenshots you know that you just press the print screen button on your keyboard and it, it is gonna take like a screen of your entire screen but if you want to take like uh, a specific window and you want to take a screen of that you just hold ctrl and you just click print screen but if you want to take like an advanced screen screenshot you just press um, the windows button shift and then s and so you can see that I can drag literally a window how I want it. If I release this window right here that I am dragging around, it is gonna take a screenshot of that portion of the screen, as you could see right here. And then you have to save it to whatever you want. So this is some advanced screenshot, very, very useful to know. So Windows key, Shift, and then the S. Very, very easy. Then if you are just doing some work or maybe you're just browsing the web and you have to open for example a file on the file ex explorer for example you just press like the windows key and e and it's gonna open like a file explorer you can open it as many as you want like this for example by just clicking the windows button and the e then if you want to go to the windows settings in a very quick way you just have to press uh, windows and i like this and you have your settings so very very easy then if you are writing maybe a comment 
under my YouTube video. Just this is an example. I mean, <laughs> and you want to add like some emoji and you just don't want to press the right click and just open emoji by that. You just have to press like the Windows button as always and then the dot on your keyboard. And so the emoji panel is going to come up and you can just type whatever emoji you want, like down below in the comments. So this was my last tip on the keyboard shortcut that you have to use. And I hope you liked this video and you found it in some ways like useful. I hope it does because there are some, some very, very useful uh, keyboard shortcut that I mean, you should use it. But if you did leave a like down below this video, because I mean, it's free. And also if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, just subscribe right now because I mean, it's free too. And also, as I said before, just go down below in the comments and type some emoji like I showed you before. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.